All right, so today we're taking a deep dive into Arbor Robotics, and we've got a lot to unpack. Especially with that recent partnership they announced with NVIDIA. Yeah, that NVIDIA collaboration. Yeah. That's the big news everyone's talking about. So let's start there. Why is this such a big deal for Arb? NVIDIA is like the gold standard for AI computing. Their Drive AGX platform is basically the brains behind a lot of autonomous driving systems. So when you combine Arbus super high resolution radar with NVIDIA's AI power, it's like giving those self-driving cars an extra set of eyes. So it's all about enhancing the perception, the awareness of these vehicles. Exactly. And that translates into some pretty amazing real world benefits. One of the things they're really highlighting is this thing called radar based free space mapping. So imagine a car that can basically create a real time 3D map of everything around it. Even in like really tough conditions, like think heavy fog, pouring rain, even a snowstorm. Wow. So even if the car's cameras are blinded by the snow, it can still see using this radar. Exactly. This is this high powered signal processing that isn't affected by bad weather or low light. It can cut right through those conditions and provide that crucial data for the car to navigate safely. What else are they hoping to achieve with this NVIDIA partnership? Enhanced safety and autonomy are really at the top of the list. By combining Arby's detailed radar data with NVIDIA's AI smarts, you can create much more robust advanced driver assistance systems. You mean things like lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, those sorts of things. Exactly. But think even more sophisticated, even more reliable. And the third big outcome of this collaboration is what they're calling seamless sensor fusion. Okay, so we've got cameras, we've got radar. Now they're talking about fusing the data. What's the thinking behind that? It's about creating a more complete picture of the car's surroundings. Humans, we use our eyes, our ears, our sense of touch to understand our environment. Different senses working together. Exactly. And for autonomous vehicles, it's the same idea. By combining data from cameras, radar, and potentially even LIDAR in the future, they can create this really rich, comprehensive perception model. So it's like giving the car a brain that can process information from multiple sources just like we do. Exactly. And that level of awareness is what you need to achieve truly safe and reliable autonomous driving, a system that can handle all those complex real world scenarios. Now, I'm curious, how did the market react to this news about the NVIDIA collaboration? I imagine investors were pretty excited. Oh, yeah, definitely. Arba's share price jumped up quite a bit after the announcement. As of January 7th, it was trading around $4 per share. So investors are seeing dollar signs, or at least the potential for them. Yeah, they see this partnership as a big validation of RB's technology, a sign that they're becoming a major player in this market. Okay, so we've talked about this exciting partnership, but let's zoom out a bit and talk about RB Robotics as a company. Yeah. What's their story? What makes them unique in this crowded field of autonomous vehicle tech companies? Arbor Robotics is based in Tel Aviv, Israel, but they have a global presence with offices in China, Germany, the U.S. Their real focus is on becoming a leader in the automotive radar market, and they're doing that with some pretty cutting-edge technology. Yeah, from what I've read, their core technology revolves around this thing called a MIMO array. Yeah. Can you explain what that is and why it's so important? Sure. MIMO stands for Multiple Input, Multiple Output. And in our base case, they've developed this radar system with a massive 48 receiving and 48 transmitting channels. Well, 48 channels, that sounds incredibly complex. It is. But think of it this way. Each channel is like an instrument in an orchestra, all working together to create this incredibly detailed 3D picture of the car's surroundings. So it's about giving the car incredible hearing allowing it to detect objects with amazing precision. Exactly. And remember how we talked about our base radar being able to perform in all kinds of weather conditions? This MIMO array plays a big part in that too. The more channels, the better the performance in bad weather. Exactly. The more channels you have, the more powerful the signal processing becomes. And that means the radar can see through things like fog, rain, snow. It's really impressive. So it's not just about seeing clearly, it's about seeing in any condition. Yeah. That's crucial for safety, especially when you think about self-driving cars navigating through a blizzard or something. Absolutely. And here's another cool thing about the MIMO array. It allows Arby's radar to detect really tiny objects that other sensors might miss. Like what kinds of objects? We're talking like a tire on the road or even small debris. So it's like having a microscopic level of perception. Exactly. And for those who want to see this tech in action, Arby is actually doing live demonstrations at CES 2025. You can check them out at booth 7406 in the West Hall. What's the reality of Arby's financial situation? Are they actually making money? That's a million dollar question, right? And honestly, Arby is still working towards consistent profitability. 
they're investing a lot in R&D, which can be expensive. In Q3 of 2024, their revenue actually dropped to $100,000, down from $500,000 in the same quarter of the previous year. And they reported an operating loss of $12.4 million. So a drop in revenue and an operating loss. Not exactly music to an investor's ears. What about their cash position? Do they have enough resources to keep innovating and developing this technology? The good news is they recently completed a $49 million public offering, which gave them a nice cash infusion. So as of their latest filings, they have about $43.99 million in cash and equivalents. Okay, so some breathing room at least. Yeah, and their debt is relatively low, only about $1.74 million. So they're not drowning in debt, which is a good sign. What about their growth prospects? RB has been busy forming partnerships with some major players in the automotive industry. And that's a key strategy for any company trying to break into this market. Mm. They've announced partnerships with 16 original equipment manufacturers, or OEMs, and 12 of those partnerships are already in pretty advanced stages. So potential for some big deals down the road. That's mm. encouraging. It is. They're projecting a big ramp up in production throughout 2025. And they've set a goal of reaching positive cash flow by 2027. What are some of the factors that could influence whether they hit that target? The big one is the overall pace of autonomous vehicle adoption. If the market takes off faster than expected, RB could be in a great position to benefit. But if it's slower, it might take longer to reach profitability. So they're riding the wave of a larger industry trend. Yeah. Makes sense. What else should investors be paying attention to? Competition is another big factor. There are other companies out there developing sensor technologies for autonomous vehicles. So RB needs to keep innovating, keep differentiating themselves to stay ahead of the curve. So it's not just about having a great product today. It's about continuing to push the boundaries, continuing to improve. Exactly. And that's something RB seems to be doing well. They're constantly refining their technology, exploring new applications. They're not standing still. It's been a pleasure unpacking all of this for you. And for our listeners, we encourage you to keep digging, keep asking questions. The future of transportation is still being written. Yes. And it's a story we all have a part in shaping. So stay curious out there. And thanks for joining us on this deep dive into Arbor Robotics.